Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this YouTube tutorial, we are going to see how we can fetch the items which are already existing under a DynamoDB table, which all which is already there on the system. So what we are going to do it over here. Let's go to the AWS console. I have the AWS console over here. If I go in tables, I have a table named employee. If I go in employee, if I click on view items, you can see there are three items. Now I want to get the list of these three items or uh, any one of the items. So for example, I want to fetch the data of uh, item with, with a partition key as three. So let's go ahead and check how we can do it. So let's create a new file, Python file. <clears throat> Dynamodb okay so in this what we are going to do is we are going to first go to our DynamoDB official documentation so this is the official documentation of DynamoDB over here I will just check service resource so from service resource we are going to pick this paste it in our code after doing that what we are going to do is we have to search for the items so uh, before uh, if we ha have to search for some specific item first we will have to understand what exactly is there in that specific table so to get the data of a specific table we will go with this table so i will just use this method over here and over here we will mention our table name our table name is employee now after mentioning the table name, what we are going to do is we are going to just run table dot. Now we have to get item. So get item means in this example, we are going to get a specific item which has the partition key as three. So let's go ahead. So under table, there are sub resources which are available. So we will use the sub resource over here. There is an option. So get item, if I click on get item, it, it says the get item operation returns a set of attributes for the item with given, given a primary key, primary key or the partition key. If there is no matching item, it does not return any data and there will be no items in the response. So what is the syntax? Table.get item. So I will just copy the syntax table.get item. And if you see inside this, if I go down under parameters, this is required key is required so what we are going to do is we are going to search based on the key so right now i am going to search for the key key is equal to so primary key so my primary key is id so id is 3 so what we are going to do is if i go back in dynamic table if you see this we are going to fetch so now uh, once we fetch it, we want also want to display what exactly we have fetched. So I will go and create, save, get this returned dictionary under a response. Okay. Now, so when we get the response, so let's go to the official documentation and see what it returns. So it returns a dictionary. So this is what it is going to return. So in this, what we want to see so currently what our focus would be we are going to uh, check the items the item values we have to check uh, which are being uh, which we are uh, trying to fetch so what i will do uh, i will print response and from this dictionary we are going to open this list so if you see this is a list oh sorry uh, if this is dictionary and we are going to open this uh, this is again dictionary within a dictionary that's it so now i will just go ahead and run the dynamo db get item so guys as you can see id 3 name xyz salary 3000 if i go back to the dashboard it is the same if you see over here so guys so that's it for this uh, method that is get item now i will show you if you want to uh, fetch values in bulk what we can use so for that we will create another program 
so let's go ahead and create another python file which would be dynamo db underscore patch underscore get underscore new file created let's go back to our official documentation in official documentation this would be the first way that you will see we are going to use the service resource so <clears throat> let's invoke this service resource class let's invoke so after that what we are going to do is if you see over here there is already a function batch get item we are going to use this function batch get item the batch get item operation returns the attributes of one or more items so in the last method we were only able to fetch uh, items based single item because in key you can define only one key but over here you can define multiple keys so you can get the multiple values the batch item operation returns the attribute of one or more items so if i go over here if you see requested items in this requested items in keys we can mention multiple keys because this is going to be a list so let's go ahead and use this so let's copy paste and if you see over here requested item is required parameter keys are is required parameter so we have two required parameters okay so let's back go back to the code so let's start with requested items So within this requested items what we have to do this so if you go in requested items what did they have mentioned map one or more table names for each table a map that describes one or more items so you have to map one or more table name so under requested items over here you will have to mention the table name. so over here I will just mention the table name our table name is employee okay so under employee we are going to search based on keys so now these keys that we are going to use where we will define list so under this list let's define first key first key is id okay sorry it will be id so I will define one so I will show you I will so let's comma sorry wrong so over here Okay, ID two ID three. So what we have mentioned, we have mentioned ID one, ID two, and ID three. Now the response that we are going to get, how we will understand what exactly data we are getting. Let's go back to the documentation and see what are what is getting returned if you see it is returning a dictionary so under dictionary we are going what we have to check is capacity okay so we are going to check the response so in responses we will get the data that we are looking for so i will just go over here so i will print response so under response i will use this so guys uh, let's go ahead first I will clear this let's go ahead and run this program okay guys so over here you can see id1 name abc salary so this is the first record that we got under employee if I move the cursor over here this is the second record 
and this is the third record. So guys, that's it for this this session. In this session, what we saw, we saw get item where we can fetch item one by one, and we have saw we have seen batch get item where we can get multiple items by specifying their keys. And we we can all in requested items we can also fetch it for one table or multiple tables based on the documentation that we have seen over here. Thank you for joining the session, guys. Have a great day ahead.